It's been more than 40 days now that residents of Thomas have been experiencing discolored tap water. For the latest update on the water situation, Jefferson Pan was in attendance at Thomas City Council meeting last night and filed this report. The city of Thomas held its council meeting Tuesday night. Thomas's mayor, Jody Flanagan, said that the city has been following state protocol and that the state has told the city that the water is an aesthetic issue only and is due to the drought. The mayor went on to say that the city and treatment plant employees are doing their best to deal with the water situation and will update the public as necessary. As part of the city's response, they have reached out to Governor Justice, Senator Capito, and their state senator. Furthermore, the mayor says that for the past four and a half years, the city has been trying to gain funding to upgrade the water system. Council members also responded to residents' concerns over the discolored water. A major source of contention in the meeting was a social media post that cited the Environmental Working Group, or EWG, whose website lists a number of contaminants that the nonprofit says are potentially cancer causing. Mayor Flanagan pointed out that the EWG is not a government regulatory agency. He went on to call them a lobbyist organization and illegitimate. When evaluating these claims, 12 News found a George Mason University study that says 79% of toxicologists say that the EWG overstates chemical risks. Also at the meeting was the second reading for the water rate increase. The town CPA explained the need for the rate increases. One of the reasons, he said, is that the town water system is currently operating at a deficit. Furthermore, in order to qualify for grant money and lower interest rates on a loan to improve the water system, they need to increase the rates. In an interview with 12 News, Mayor Flanagan emphasized that there is no predicting when the water issue will be fixed and that it is highly dependent on rain. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Jefferson Pan.